I'll come back to tutorial 14 um, of the C8 Corvette and um, uh, just to let you know that the uh, high definition of the uh, blueprint uh, it's really good it's a lot bigger and then uh, more uh, clearer with the lines and everything I will leave it in the description but now it's uh, also in uh, part one uh, or on two, three, four, I left in the description the uh, high definition uh, blueprint of the C8 Corvette. Okay, so uh, let's continue with our tutorial and the design. And uh, now we're going to uh, create this uh, grill area here, uh, or our mesh, or, or big mesh, whatever you want to call it. And then um, uh, possibly we're going to add a uh, just a picture on the back of a um, intercooler or oil cooler. I think it's an oil cooler, not an intercooler. I think the intercooler is in the front. These are, should be oil coolers. But uh, eventually, uh, when the whole outside is finished, uh, we will make the uh, real. Uh, we will make a real oil cooler, and of course the. Uh, engine and everything engine is in the back uh, but uh, yeah so um let's get on with the design so uh what we're going to do is uh come down here and we're going to get delete, delete this mural here we put that on there just for a uh, show uh okay and then uh we're going to uh hide this one and we can bring it back after just click hide and then we're going to uh, right click on this one and hide boundary surface 12 and it brings back the whole, whole thing. Excuse me. So hide that. Okay. And then um, we're going to start by uh, looking at this picture here for a second. And as we can see, we got uh, two lines here. So obviously we got four because the one on one side, one on the other side and a zigzag up and uh, this way so uh basic but it's two lines here and of course it's uh, attaching to the edges of that uh, surface okay so um let's get a good view on that one all right and then uh let's just jump into your sketch and a 3d sketch and uh, we're going to grab a center line and then just going to create two lines one from here to this edge and another one, another center line from this edge uh, down to this edge here. Okay, and then uh, let's uh, align these uh, lines. So look at the picture. Uh, it's big, big here and a smaller gap down here, a bit big here and I'm not so small down here. So um, let's bring this, uh, let's minimize it somewhere so we can see our picture on the window here a lot better okay so um yeah uh let's uh, move this a little bit this way and then um move that one somewhere here and uh, move this one about here Move that one a little bit this way, and uh, yeah, let's move that line down here, maybe here. Okay, and then um, let's uh, here and somewhat straight, something like that. Okay, we can also move this a little bit, but there's going to be the second line. Okay, so uh, let's uh, grab another uh, center line here. And one goes here, down to this edge. So make sure you're on the other edge and all the way on these lines. And then let's grab a, uh, make sure you get a good view on these edges. Uh, Let's grab a second line uh, from uh, this edge down to this edge here. 
and now we just uh, have a look from the front I'm just going to uh, make these lines nice and perpendicular to it, to each other maybe move this in here a little bit something like that Think about that much space and uh, maybe this one here A little bit this way, maybe. <clears throat> and uh, that looks good from uh, from my uh, perspective. So it's going to go something like that. Okay. So uh, let's uh, have a look at the picture here. This has. Um, one, two, so it's from this edge, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten on the edge on there. So let's grab a point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten to this corner. Okay. And then um we don't need that point there. Okay. And then um let's grab a line. And let's start from here. One. Make sure you end up on the line, and not somewhere in the air. And try to grab on that line. And then uh, add these zigzag points and these points here. Just escape. Okay, so we are all attached to the points, and then we just need to add one more line from at uh, this point uh, to this edge. Just escape, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now let's come to this side here and grab the line. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten up to here. So let's check that we are on target. We are gets good. So let's jump to the front now and uh, pull the vehicle with this way our design. And let's just align, align these points as best as we can. So um, let's pull this line down here. And then um, let's make them, oh, that, you don't need to move the controls that to Bring things back to normal. Uh, again, control Z. Uh, we can come down here and uh, anchor uh, this point here. Anchor. 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 Oh, you call it fixed. Okay. Um. Then um. Yeah. So now we move away. So let's uh, delete these, uh, delete them. Coincident relationship down here. Delete. Okay. And then this down here somewhere. Okay, that looks good. 
double check we didn't come away from the line we didn't again just jump to the front just to uh, get things in line and then come to the front here and um, this here It's going to be a line in between. Gonna, we want to facilitate that design. Line here, line here. Okay, so I think these line, these points are a bit high. So let's bring them down a little bit. To that point. So now we are somewhat straight. Let me bring these ones up a little bit. Okay, so um yes. yeah, so you can just um uh fix it until you feel uh, comfortable with the uh design on your own. Just if you want, you can fix these points as well, but not necessary. I'm happy with that. Um, maybe bring this line down a little bit. Like that, that. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, yeah, so um, that's good. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to exit this sketch for a second, and then we're going to grab a um, another three D sketch. It's going to be a center line, and this is going to be our direction that we're going to extrude this sketch to. So. Come to the top here, if you like, and try to be in the ZX X plate. And we're going to pull this. Um, going to pull this in this direction. Yeah, something something like that. Okay, we can always edit that direction if you want to. And we're just going to leave that line. And then uh, next thing we're going to do is come back into this sketch, but first exit the last uh, 3D sketch. So come back into this sketch and uh, edit it. And then we're going to come to the fillet. And then uh, we're going to put um, 0 0.5 and uh, try 0 0.5 on that fillet. Okay, so exit the sketch, and I come into 3D sketch, and uh, add fillet in 3D sketch. Uh, hold on a second. So come to this line, uh, actually exit this one that we just started. So come to this line, edit the sketch, right? And then add, let's try to add our fillet now. 0.5. Let's try one. Wait, don't want to. Underdefined. Okay. That's it. So try uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 on those. And then these two lines, these two lines, that, and that, this line and this line, this line and this line, this line and this line here. So we're all of let's on this line, and then this line, this line, this line, this line. 
okay just make sure you can grab all your lines to uh, register those fillets one two three four five and then this line here okay that's good that's okay all right let's see it works uh, uh work on that so uh exit the sketch okay and then um we're going to we're going to uh to a bonder surface and cap this end off so we have our uh, surface to uh, extrude to so our uh, surface is bonder surface and then just select the uh select the edges okay so that's our surface here. If it doesn't show up for you, just flip connectors and it will. Press OK on that. And then um, let's jump over to extrude the surface. And we're going to select the sketch. And then uh, for direction, it's going to be uh, this line here. OK. And then for um, for where to stop, we're going to up to surface and we're going to use this surface here. So it's uh, touching the surface all the way around. Okay, so we got the first uh, surface here. Uh, let's come back here and bring back the sketch for the other uh, say show. And then we're going to do another extrude here. So extrude, we're going to extrude this uh, sketch. Uh, for direction one, we're going to use our uh, direction uh, 3D uh, construction line, and we're going to extrude to surface uh, this surface here. Okay, so that's done, and then now um, we're going to hide these sketches, and then we're going to leave this here. All right. And then um, let's uh, thicken these uh, surfaces. Uh, maybe just uh, one. Try that. And one would be a bit too big. So let's try 0 0.3. And then uh, 0 0.3 is the right thickness for us. So let's try that. And then let's thicken the other one as well. All right. Uh, let's move the thick end off and try to add it to the inside. Uh, let's move, remove this one. Remove this thick end and uh, let's thick end to the inside. Or we have to flip the thick end. And now it's not hanging out over there for us. So that's good. All right. Um, right. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to, we need to add uh, some 3D sketches, some lines uh, from uh, connecting these points here and connecting to these edges. And uh, let's hide the surface for now. Okay. And then um, let's uh, move it in this direction so you can see it. And uh, let's come to the sketch here and then 3D sketch and then uh, select uh, lines. And uh, we're just going to go from uh, somewhere in the middle of this uh, curvature. So make sure you're going from the middle and uh, going out to this edge. Okay. And try not to go to the inner edge. Make sure on all of them you're on the other edge. So grab a line, come in here, and then uh, come to uh, this edge here. That's a line. Uh, we don't want to snap to you. Come on. From here to here. All right, then another one. It's going to be a few. Okay. Uh, let me add all these lines and then uh, I'll come back to you. All right, so once you uh, added all your lines, uh, in the middle uh, it's going to be, so make sure you're always going from the corner. In the middle is going to be uh, these, always the outer edges to this outer edge here. 
and then one, two, three, four, and then on this line, on this section here. So uh, what we're going to do with this one is just uh, straighten, straighten these lines out. So uh, uh, maybe pull this one down here. So as we getting a uh, complex, uh, where we get to complex areas uh, into the C8 design, uh, there's going to be time where we uh, have to do uh, a lot of uh, uh, of the same thing, but a lot. And then uh, on those instances, I'm going to pause the video, so uh, I'm not going to bore you with uh, going through uh, small bits and pieces uh, one by one if it's the same things. And then we I will come back, and then you know we continue with the design. Okay, so uh, once you edit these lines and you straighten them out, uh, we're going to uh, exit the sketch. And then uh, we're going to bring back that surface, that boundary surface there. So I show that. Okay, and we're going to uh, surface and we're going to extrude. And we're going to extrude these uh, lines. Okay. And for direction, of course, this line here. Uh, select counter clear selections. And maybe we can select all of them at the same time. Let's try to do that. 3D sketch. Um, select counters. Now let's try uh, like this. So extra to select this line. And for direction, this uh, construction line. And uh, we're going to go up to surface. Okay, so that's one line. <laughs> uh, let's bring back uh, our three D sketch. Show, sure. and then um, let's extrude this sketch here. Uh, direction this one here, and uh, up to surface this surface here. All right. Uh, so let me do all that. Let me do all that one by one, and then I'll come back to you when it's all done. Or let's try to instead of doing one by one, instead of doing one by one, let's uh, do it all in the same time. So uh, extra surface, and uh, we're going to select uh, this 3D sketch. This one here. Okay. And then uh, select the uh, direction. Okay, now I register all of them. And uh, up to surface, and this surface here. Uh, well, we, then we're going to do the reference today. So, so let's do blind, and then it will uh, stick out, but we will trim that back. Okay, so press OK on that. And then um, let's hide these sketches. Are we going to um, hide this sketch as well here, and then uh, let's come to the from this angle, and then let's go to trim surface and let's use the surface as a trim tool and uh, remove uh, these uh, smaller bits here. Okay, remove them. That's good. Now let's hide the surface here. And uh, let's remove these uh, smaller pieces over here. So uh, trim surface, let's use the outside uh, surface as a trim tool and then remove these uh, small pieces here. And let's grab these uh, small pieces here. That's okay. All right. And then now um, we're going to uh, tick on all of these surfaces. And then let's see if we can do all at the same time. Well, let us do uh, all of it in once. 
So uh, let's uh, choose that one. Choose for thickness uh, 0 0.3. All right, so let me do all of them and I'll come back to you. Okay, and then uh, select this surface and then we're going to uh, tick end, uh, on to the bottom side and uh, 0 0.3 and press OK. So now all of them is now thickened. So um, uh, now, all right. So now um, let's bring back uh, our let's bring back our um, vehicle here. So anywhere anywhere you click on it will bring back the whole thing. Okay, and uh, let's bring back our small surface body. So a uh, boundary surface at uh, twenty eight. So left click on the show and they came back and then uh we have this uh issue here a little bit of issue where uh this one uh comes out and this area of course uh, these are things that could pop up uh, these problems and then we can fix it so we just need to edit this surface since we deleted the mirror but even if it didn't, it would register to other ends. So uh, let's delete this, uh, not delete, but let's edit this surface or, uh, yeah, let's edit the surface. So edit the um, sketch, the 3D sketch, this line here. And then, um, yeah, let's, do it like that and let's take this point uh, delete this coincidence and then get this point and uh, get it out to the outside edge and uh, let's get, grab this uh, line here and then bring it out of course we will uh, fix it up until it's good for us Okay, let's check it from the side. Okay, let's exit the sketch and see if it's good. Well, let's see. Okay, so um, let's do a control Z and then exit the sketch. Control Z. Let's make sure that all that editing goes back to where it was. So Control Z, Control Z, Control Z to get it back to where it was originally. Okay, and then uh, we're going to uh, remake this uh, surface here. So let's delete this surface, this whole body. I'm going to build it brand new. Okay, and let's uh, delete this uh, line. We have a 3D sketch uh, that went with that one that uh, we created a profile for that body. So let's delete that one as well. Okay, so now future tree is clean. Uh, and uh, we're going to create that a uh, surface again so uh what we did last time is we added a point uh, somewhere here and we went down we came down from this line here okay so uh, we should probably do the grill first and then do this, sur this surface first but uh, it's always learning uh about uh, modeling that uh, further down the design if you know you did something differently you can have uh, different problems that you can resolve Okay, so uh, let's jump to sketch here and 3D sketch. Grab that point and just drop it somewhere here. Okay, exit the sketch. And then, um, and then we're just going to grab a, another 3D sketch. It's going to be a spline. Uh, but before we do that, before we do that, uh, let's uh, hide this uh, 
body first. Let's hide the whole thing first so that we can uh, sketch in a uh, free space without uh, snipping to anything. Okay. And if you grab on anything and show it will bring back the whole thing, of course. All right, so uh, let's grab on it and then hide. And then uh, let's grab a 3D sketch spline. And then we're gonna go from this point. Yeah, and then just do a couple uh, points, control points, and make sure you're not snipping to anything, something like that. And then um, in this time, we're going to snap to uh, going to snap to this edge here. Okay, that's fine. And now we can bring back that uh, grow. So now we can see if we're uh, touching to it or not. Okay, so let's jump to the side view here, and uh, get on this line, and then press Control Polygon. And then let's create that. Uh, let's create that uh, curvature. Look at our picture. And it comes down straight from here. Actually, let's hide that. Exit. Let's hide it so we can see a lot better. Hide that, yeah. And for the side view, I guess. Edit, edit that sketch. Let's edit this sketch here. Delete. Let's grab onto these points and then make sure that uh, from all angle we are straight with this line here. to be something like that and not touching the bracket at all so we don't want to touch that bracket with this surface body okay Let's jump to the front here for a quick second. And I'll make that one straight. Something like that. Okay, so I make that straight here. Let's jump to the top.
and then um yeah we want to make this line somewhat straight I guess let's have a look yeah now we're creating uh, the git profile so let's do it from the top okay so And um, to me, it looks good, this curvature now. Let's jump to the front view here. And jump back to the top. We'll know for sure when we uh, create this surface. So straighten these lines out. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think it's straight, but we can always come back to uh, edit it further, and it's not touching our grill. So exit this sketch. Okay, and then we're probably going to try to. Uh, Go with this edge here, the outer edge. Uh, so uh, before we do that, let's add a profile sketch. And we're gonna add that from the front. And we're gonna go from um, so 3D sketch, uh, spline. And then we're gonna go for. Uh, we want. I want to go from uh, from the line from uh, this edge to this line. One second. <clears throat> right. I delete that line. Okay, so uh, 3D sketch uh, curve, boundary surface, okay, we can uh, add the line later. All right. So let's uh, bring back uh, the grill. Show. Show. There you go. And then uh, jump to 3D sketch. Maybe we'll register this time. You want. Uh, okay, so let's go to surfaces and uh, boundary surface. And then we're going to choose uh, selection manager, choose this edge, that edge, this edge, press OK. And let's choose our line. And let's figure out if we need to uh, flip the connectors. So yeah, we need to flip the connectors. So flip connectors, and then uh, we can pull this back to about there. Maybe further up. And further up to this point here. And on this section, let's pull up to this point. Of course, we have to stick it out because we need to add a profile. And we create a good self intersecting. So, um, we're going to grab a 3D sketch spline, and I want to register with that point. Okay, 
So 3D sketch. Spine. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I guess we won't grab onto that edge. Try to grab onto the line itself and the edge. Okay, this time it did. No, it didn't register. Exit this sketch and then delete this line. Okay. Uh, let's see these points. Hide these points. And let's bring back our 3D sketch. Show. And then delete this uh, line here. Uh, probably not. So let's bring that back. Control Z. So edit this sketch. And let's uh, trim this line here. Okay, that's a lot better. So come back to this line. So edit. Yeah. Okay. So um, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to uh, save the model. Okay. And I'm going to exit SolidWorks and come back in. Okay. So I uh, saved the model and I restarted uh, SolidWorks. And then I'll. Now, sometimes, you know, when the geometry gets complex, a little bit complex, it's not too much complexity, but uh, some of the tools uh, kind of freezes. So uh, restarting SolidWorks helps to clear that. So 3D sketch, uh, grab a spline. So now we can uh, grab onto this edge and this edge and come to the top and edit the profile. Let it have a nice profile about that much okay and then i'm um, gonna come in here and then uh let's grab another 3d sketch spline and then just gonna follow this uh, edge all the way around down that corner Okay, just come down here and make sure you add as much blind point at this turn as you can. <coughs> and then um, I'm going to snip to that. And then I come to the top here and fix up this uh, boundary, this sketch. Something like that. Maybe add. So edit this sketch and then click on it and add a control polygon. Come to the top here. And I grab these. Uh, Yeah, let's grab that and pull that in. Okay. Let's come to the front and grab that line and just uh, back up. Okay, so that's what we are looking for. Let's not touch that connector points. Now we can see a lot better from the top. Okay, let's spin it around. And, um, uh, 
right, so that point, let's not touch that point there um, too much. Okay, something like that. All right, now let's uh, let's try to create our surface here. Exit. And let's try a uh, fill surface. This line and this line here. And for constraint curves, let's use this curvature, curvature there. And I press OK. Yeah, and then we still have a little bit of that uh, grill uh, sticking out there. Uh, but uh, we can fix that by uh, editing the sketch here. Let's come to the side view. And then um, grab these control polygons and just uh, pull up like that. Okay, exit the sketch. And now we are finally uh, not touching anything and our surface is a lot better. All right, so let's have a look at our pictures. Yeah, so uh, we could um, maybe uh, trim that down a little bit, trim the surface back a little bit just to make it more prettier. I that sketch there. So jump to the front. Yeah, we can maybe trim it down a little bit. So um, uh, if it let us, so let's jump to uh, let's jump to let's save the model first, and let's jump to the uh, front plane sketch on the front plane. And normal to profile in this direction, and then um, let's grab a spline and let's come down something like that. Okay, let's grab a spline, come to this edge here, click the line, and hold control plus the line, make that tangent. And then now oh, let's trim back a little bit. The surface is trim to trim that out. How that look? I mean, we should trim out from something from uh, this uh, angle here. We could. Um, Let's jump in here again, and uh, where's the 3D sketch? Is that 3D sketch? Edit the 3D sketch. Or maybe edit the profile curvature. Let's edit the profile curvature from this angle from the top down. And just pull, grab this and Pull it out a little bit. Just okay. See what we have. All right, almost good. Maybe I did that one from this angle, and uh, just pull out a little bit more. It wants to be pulled out a little bit more. So uh, basically, the model itself is asking for it. So let's do that. And that's it. Now we are finally, oh, we still have a little bit. All right, let's uh, edit that one. And from the top. All right. Let's have a look at now. All right, and then um, let's try uh, play with this a little bit more. 
Okay. Um. It's probably going to be too much. Yeah. Well, let's not do this much here. So I did that, and then I see the sketch. And then maybe come back on that one. Exit the sketch. Okay, so um yeah, we're going to leave this tutorial uh here. Uh let's uh let's uh, find that boundary surface for now. Uh, we made earlier and uh, show that on the surface and then uh, let's grab that copy that appearance and then let's let's paste uh, that appearance onto that so copy appearance and then paste appearance based appearance onto the surface uh, body. Or maybe we can change the um, uh, blue to Oh, leave it at blue for now. <laughs> and then um. Maybe copy the appearance and add the appearance to that edge. Right. Okay, so uh, we're going to leave this tutorial here. And then uh, on the next tutorial, we're going to trim this down a little bit, maybe edit it a little bit better, make it a little bit better. And then. Um, And then we get on with the uh, rest of the uh, vehicle, uh, adding the wing. Yeah, adding this uh, small wing here and the front of the front of the uh, car here. And then possibly we're going to close that in and the lower lip down here. Okay, so I'll see you at the next tutorial.